Nice of you to come in. Thanks. So, Patricia. Welcome. Thank you. I live in Simeon Street and literally halfway down. And the issue I have is with the amount of heavy, very heavy trucks that are going down that road, usually in the morning. I can't actually tell whether they're speeding or not, but the fact that they're so um, laden is causing a lot of vibration in my house and in several people around me that I've spoken to. Um, I don't think Simeon Street's ever been designed to take that amount of traffic and heavy traffic. Now, I, came, I went to a meeting at uh, Chrysler South a while ago, and one of the ladies from council there said she wasn't sure whether the supermarket had... <coughs> Um, particularly the supermarket probably, because I think that's where most of the deliveries are being done, whether they have to have a permit or something to allow delivery trucks to come in off Simeon Street. But I'm not sure if that's... They never got back to me on that. But um, as it happens, just recently it seems to have calmed down, but they have been doing lateral repairs on, on the sewers <laughs> in Simeon Street, so that might be a reason it's for probably that. the reason, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it really is terrible, and... Because it's early morning deliveries, it's difficult to know, because I'm never up at that time, whether they're speeding or whether it's just the heavy um, amount of, of stuff that they're taking. Now, I'm right opposite the um, fire station. That never seems to be an issue, because they're not really building up any speed by the time they come out of the station and either go out Coronation or down on to Milton. I'm not sure... Looking at the map, it looks like there may be a possibility of Simeon Street being reduced to 40, if I've read the map properly. 30? 30? Ooh, 30. Okay. Is, it, is it good news for you? Um, yes, it, but whether that will stop these early morning people thundering down there or not, I don't know. That's um, right, because, because people have brought up the enforcement issue yes, today quite yes. regularly. Yep. And the, the trouble is the, the access off to Main Street is pretty crazy, to be honest, access, access and exit. But um, these car uh, trucks, I don't know whether they should be going b down Barrington Street and coming in off Athelstan Street, which is a much better access. Yeah. But there just seems to be a lot of traffic going down there, a lot of trucks. I can, you know, I've taken a note of quite a lot of them, but I'm just not sure whether that's going to stop them in the morning or not. Right. Because they're not, not really causing a hazard because there's very few people around at that time and cars around at that time. But it's the effect it's having on people who are living in these houses. Yeah. Um, the vibration is like an earthquake. Mm. And um, I just want to know whether all this traffic should be going down Simeon or whether something can be done about restricting it. Yeah, I think that's a very good question. We've got other areas around the city that struggle with vibration from big vehicles as well. Mm. And, I, I mean, it is preferable that they stick to the main roads, but a lot of them do cut through yeah. suburban areas, which is not desirable. Mm. Um, so I don't know whether you can get a response out to Patricia about that. I'm not sure that there's anything that we can do to force them to drive on <coughs> some roads and not others ex unless we use design tactics and that's expensive. Well, the only thing would be to put some sort of speed bump that's in. Right. But, but um, which shouldn't, if it was put almost at the fire station, it shouldn't really affect them too much because they're not really building up any speed no. anyway when they come out that's, or go in. But then sometimes those humps create more vibration. Yeah. Aaron, you've got a quick question? Yeah. Um, you can also, if, if you can see what trucks they are sometime, if you're up early, um, contact the companies because they might not be speeding, but they might not be driving properly and yeah. talking the motor rather than going through the gears like they're meant to. Yeah. And That's if you a good talk point. the motor, that vibrates because some of the bus drivers do it and they're a bit lazy and go around some of the bends and don't change gear, mm. and then the, the vibrations the vehicle sends out when you mm. talk a motor is not Yeah, pleasant. so if you do spot 
you know, what brand or Contact what company, them do just, feel free to give yeah, them a call. A lot of them are quite have a courtesy line and things like that. So it's just the drivers just need to tickle up. Do you know if the if the supermarket has to have is, is there something about a permit as to what, what Look, road personally, I don't think so. I could be wrong, but could we get a response? I think trucks yeah, are allowed to do something. Yeah, unless it's got a truck ban, yeah. which not many roads do. Yeah. So you, your time is up, and um, we'll get staff to respond to your questions if they 